Hi everyone, I'm going to do a quick cutting video of a new soap for Christmas and the Yule release which I made yesterday. This one is Pumpkin Spice Latte. I'm jumping on that bandwagon. <laughs> I really like that coffee and um, it doesn't have too much of a coffee note but it's in there. There's also some coffee grounds in there but that beautiful pumpkin spice and a bit of uh, cinnamon and a bit of sweet sort of coconut milk I mean like the scent coconut milk not actual coconut milk in this one so it's got a few things going on in there a few I think I use four different fragrances I didn't use essential oils I wanted the real pungent sort of not pungent that's the wrong word, but a strong, sort of, yeah, homely scent. It's really good, actually. It definitely smells like pumpkin spice. So, this is the soap, which is really heavy. I'm going to chop it into logs first, and then I'll cut it. Um, you know, as I have been, I'm doing my chunks. I think customers are really liking those. They're, I like them so much better, and Matt does what we've been using at home he's like this is so much nicer I like these chunks better he said they fit nice into the hand and they're just a yeah better so I'm gonna carry on like that for a while I might eventually sell my tank because I can see myself not really gonna I'm not really gonna use it very much unless I well no I can't change anything about it because it is they're made to measure so I might sell it it was a lot of money it cost me over 300 when I bought it, like with the shipping and stuff. So I'm not sure. I might sell it, I might not. So I might change my mind again sometime about what I do with the, you know, how the soap looks. But I doubt it because I really, really do like these. I think they're lovely. Okay, so I've got some chunks in there which are sort of coated in mica. So you're just these little pieces here. And then there's a, they should go quite dark. So then I've done like a white swirl, which I left unscented, and I put some Arabica coffee grounds in there. So hopefully it will come out quite nice. I'm just going to cut them up. It's a real sunny morning today. We're going to um, go back home and walk the dog in a second. Been lazy today, she's gone back to sleep. She's good because it'll give Matt a break while I'm out. <laughs> she's with me 24 7, so well, in the week she is. So he's got it this morning, so it's nice if she's easy. <laughs> okay, so let's get these little chunks made. So these are just my end cut. I leave all these as they are now. I just sort of trim my edges, like chamfer all the edges, and then I just leave them as they are. I don't trim off all the, you know, the bits that being patterned by the paper on the side. I just leave them. I like, I like, I just like the way they are. There's only like the two end pieces that have those side bits. You see what I mean? It's just where the paper is sat in the mould and the two ends have sat next to the paper. I usually trim all those ends off, but I'm not doing that anymore. Life's too short. Plus, I like that rustic look anyway. I don't really like too much perfection, unless perfection is done perfectly. <laughs> you see what I mean? Okay, that'd be nice with some chunks in there. It's like a star sort of pattern on the top, but how well it's come out, I'm not sure. I did sort of flick it all around a bit, as you can see on the top there. Okie dokie. Next one. I'll get quite a few samples out of this stuff. It's sort of um, enough in each batch. 
one I get quite a few samples but I'm not just doing like three or four or five soaps anymore per release I'm doing quite a few more and then some will have the um, complementary other products to go with them and some won't some things that you know they're scented in a way that isn't really suitable for the for the body I mean like as a perfume or a cream things like that, some soaps you just want just the soap if it's unusual or it's got like a smoky edge, I mean you know I think the soaps are nice when they smell sort of smoky or um, like clove and things like that, like a strong sort of scent but I don't think you want to coat your body in that sort of a smell so I make a few soaps which just a little bit different and you know you might just want to use just the soap so we'll see with these this one this one's really nice because it's quite a bakery sort of style scent it's very sweet and quite rich and creamy it's got a very nice creamy note in there so this one would be quite nice it's kind of a foody scent without that you know there's sort of a hint of the coffee but it's sort of taken over by the cream and then the cinnamon cream and you know other scents in there that just aren't so strong so this would be alright as a different product I think it's things like mint like I don't mind a mint hand cream or something like that but I don't want mint I don't really want to smell like mint you know so I don't really do body scrubs and body creams with peppermint really unless it's the summer and you want a bit of a cooling you know cooling sensation which peppermint oil will give but it's lovely in a soap do you know what I mean am I just rambling on about some, something that you're just not getting but hope not trying to think of other things like tea tree that's another one like I like tea tree soaps I'm not really a massive tea tree fan but I'd use a tea tree soap but I wouldn't want a tea tree body lotion see what I mean <laughs> that's what I mean that sort of thing so there'll be some soaps which are just soaps and some soaps which have other products to correspond with your scent so we shall see I've done a peppermint hot cocoa which is really nice and because it's got such a lovely chocolatey scent to it as well as the mint that might be okay as a scrub but I'm not sure you know as a perfume or as a body cream I'm not sure it would work so I'll show you that one in a second it's a lovely came out really nice I did a sort of very dark chocolate brown which the um, fragrance discolored anyway so I mixed in some peppermint oil and stuff like that. A few different fragrances together to get this like hot peppermint cocoa, which somebody suggested on the Facebook page. I'd asked what sort of scents you wanted for Yule, so that I could make things that people really wanted instead of just what was coming out of the depths of my own head. Um, and I got some really good suggestions. So the hot peppermint cocoa was one that just sort of sprang out at me straight away. I thought that's a really good idea. I love scents like that. And um, there's another one, a uh, marshmallow eggnog, which I'm going to do. You might mix it with a couple of other things, but that was a really good idea. And then there's the usual candied fruits and things like that. So I was going to do the um, one I did last year called Silver Sixpence Pudding, which is an essential oil blend, but it smells just like Christmas pudding. It's really, really, really nice. And I've been using the hand cream. Well, it's a body whip. I've been using it on my hands every night before I go to bed. I have it by the side of my bed. So I'm using up some things I've had lying around for a while. And that's one of them. And it is a really, really, really nice Christmassy scent. So I might bring that back in everything. 
And then there's Ebenezer, which is another one that everybody loved, even in body cream. That one was eucalyptus with lemongrass and a few other bits. Really, really nice, actually. So I might do that one. Um, in everything, again, apart from aromatic oil. Unless, if I'm talking to my customers in this video, if you use the aromatic oil in your bath, then... It's really great. I use a lot in my bath. If you have like sample vials as well that you've got from me or other suppliers, if you don't want to wear them as a perfume, use them in the bath. Just tip the whole thing in the bath and it will give you a, you know, they're diluted in a carrier. So that's what I do. I have so many like, um, like Bee Pal scents and things like that. So if you want to use them up, just shove them in the bath. So that's what I do with my own oils. I sort of use them as bath oils and they're really good. I've got Coven on the go at the moment and um, some from summer like Ethereal Seas. I've got Inches Lane because Inches Lane is a really nice um, scent for this time of year because you get flu and things like that and you feel cold and it's just a really nice one. So that's what I do with my little... Um, sample vials that I get from other companies if I don't want to use them as perfume. Put them in the bath. Okay, so there's pumpkin spice latte. I've got to trim it up and stamp it now. So there you go. I will be back. I don't know when, but I'll be back. Okay, bye.